a disabled student says her apartment management is prohibiting her from parking at her complex because of her car. KTLA's Narissa Knight is live in South LA with a story you'll only see on five. Narissa. Sharon and Micah, it's not your traditional means of transportation for the living, but the hearse is her car. And a disabled student says she's been told she cannot park anywhere on the apartment premises. That is a 1996 Cadillac Fleetwood Federal hearse. 18-year-old Samantha Kidner, a mortuary science student, drives up to her family's luxury South L.A. apartment in a vehicle many wouldn't be caught dead in. It was really scary. Samantha's been told to not park her hearse on the Lorenzo apartment premises. I've been harassed several times. They've asked me to repeatedly move my car. Samantha and her mother, Denise Kidner, have received notices from management. Samantha, who's had five brain surgeries, suffers from a spinal disorder that often causes her to stumble or fall. The Kidners, who moved in two weeks ago, have a handicap parking decal and paid for additional parking. I don't, I, don't, I don't think that should be here, man. It's kind of spooky. Many fellow tenants are rolling over in their apartments due to the graveside scenery of the hearse and Samantha's casket. My friend was like, do you think there's a body in there? Denise thinks they have a lawsuit. Because it is discrimination. Why shouldn't she be able to park her car there, which is on the lease? Samantha and her twin sister, who suffers from the same disease and also drives a hearse, have a collective dream to open a mortuary. But for now, there's a dead end in finding a plot or place for the casket and hearses. Everybody's entitled to what they want to do and what they believe in and what makes their life interesting for them. Why shouldn't I be able to drive my hearse that makes my life interesting for me? Samantha says when she's asked to move her car, it's suggested that she park next door at the Children's Orthopedic Hospital. We reached out to management to ask them for comment, but we've not yet heard back. However, a worker did tell me off camera that several of the fellow tenants, who are also USC students, were freaked out when they saw Samantha's casket on the balcony when she was moving in. She's since moved it inside after receiving a notice. Live in South L.A., Narissa Knight, KTLA 5 News. All right. Marissa, thank you. President Obama visiting the Centers for Disease.